guys, it is time for me to talk about sequels with you guys. Um, it's kind of chilly out, which is why I'm wearing a long sleeve. Uh, when I say chilly, I mean it's like 75 degrees out. But I live in Miami, so everything is chilly for me once you get away from like 80. So, whatever. Don't judge. Where's my... I wrote a list. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one being A Want So Wicked by Susan Young. Um, this is the sequel to A Need So Beautiful, and I love A Need So Beautiful, and I really want to see what Suzanne's going to do with this because A Need So Beautiful ended, like, it could have been a standalone, but it was very bittersweet, so I want to see if maybe we're going to get a happy ending out of it. You can, A Need So Beautiful is right here, actually. I don't know why it's on my bed, but it's right there. Next would be Shatter Me number two. It doesn't have a name yet, but Shatter Me comes out this week actually so excited for you guys to read it because i love this book so much it is possibly my favorite book of the year i don't know um i still need to read daughter smoke and bone because i've heard a lot of good stuff about it it's katie's favorite book of the year so before i make my final judgment i want to read daughter smoke and bone mara dyer number two um mara dyer is a very trippy book so I really want to see, like, the ending was insane, so I really want to see where we're going to end up with. Also, um, it has an unreliable narrator, which I'm actually writing a post about either this week or next week. I don't know, because I have a lot of scheduled plans for this week. But, um, unreliable narrators I love because it's really, really good in mysteries because it's in first person, but she doesn't even know what's going on, so you don't know what's going on. Next would be Ashes number two. I'm um, just going to talk about this briefly because um, other people mentioned it. I love Ashes. So much you guys know this, dying for the sequel, dying for the sequel. Apothecary number two, um, I'm actually gonna hold on. Okay, um, Apothecary is this book right here. I'm just pointing it out because I've never mentioned it before. Um, this book is amazing. It's kind of like this in between between middle grade and YA. Like it's not young adult, but it's not middle grade. It has the writing the writing style and the magic of a middle grade book but the Karen characters are 14 and there is some romance in it doesn't overpower the story but I think this book is brilliant so brilliant and I think there's a sequel I'm not entirely sure but I hope there is I really really Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins so excited I loved Lola um I think I've read it like twice already um love that book so bad and I really like that Cricket, oh, I'm so tongue-tied today, Cricket, Lola, Anna, and St. Clair are all going to be in the third book, and Isla actually made an appearance in the first book, if you didn't know, and the French Kiss, um, in that scene where Anna's leaving the, the band place, the bowling alley, or wherever that guy was performing, the drummer, or whoever he was, um, that girl that comes to Anna and talks to her in the parking lot, it's just like one line, but that, that is her. That is her. Endlessly by Kirsten White. It is the third and final book in the Paranormality Trilogy. Dying. Dying for that book. It's a very popular book, so I'm not going to talk about it a lot. Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. Oh, I love Hex Hall so bad. Hex Hall is funny and smart and just brilliant. I think it's so brilliant. So I'm looking forward to the last book in the series and they are doing a spin-off um she is writing a spin-off of Hexhall. i don't know what it's about or who it's about or whatever but if you didn't know there is one last to write by lisa just roachers um if you don't follow me on twitter you don't know this but in my twitter thing it says team luke captain if you don't know what that meant um personal demon by lisa just roachers is i love that book so bad and um i'm team luke captain so i'm so excited for last to write the final book in the trilogy Next would be Timepiece by Myra McIntyre. I can't say anything. Um, I can't say anything about it, but I am looking forward to it so much. So much. Ha, oh, so excited. Bitter Blue by Kirsten Kishore, because what kind of Grayson fan would I be if I didn't mention this? I'm so excited for Bitter Blue. Um, did you see the cover? Um, if you haven't seen the cover, I'm linking all the Goodreads links down below. But that cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's so so gorgeous, guys. Um, I am dying for that book. If you don't know what Bitter Blue is about, it's this got dark. Okay, it's ten years after the events in Grace thing happened, and it centers around Bitter Blue not being a teenager, and Poe and Katza are in it. Oh, Poe and Katza are in it. I love Poe and Katza. Oh, it's 
It's so sad going out because now I just keep thinking about, okay, there's four more. Wildfire number two, um, wild, Wildfire number two has a name, but I blink, I think it's called, like, Ashes or something, Fire-y, maybe, I know it's a kind of long name, I don't remember, I'm sorry, but Wildfire by Kirsten Mike, I really, really liked it, and it kind of ended in a cliffhanger, so I'm very, very much looking forward to gesticulation, okay, I'm very much looking forward to the next the Go on the Steer Corset Part Dose. Really, really excited for that. I read Go on the Steer Corset actually not that long ago, which is why I really want the sequel. Um, it kind of it ends in a major cliffhanger. I hated the ending so bad. It just the thing with the Go on the Steer Corset is I really liked the writing and the characters, especially the characters, but it builds up this like the, there's a particular romance with the main character and Griffin. And they build it up so much, and then nothing happens. And nothing, nothing happens. So I just really want to see when the hell something's going to happen. All right. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Everybody else mentioned this one because Divergent is a fantastic book. I love Divergent so much. So I'm so excited for Insurgent. Um, besides four, obviously, the writing is just phenomenal and my favorite part of Divergent was actually Triss and kind of seeing her grow from this like really shy, like quiet girl to being this total badass by the end of the book and all of the dauntless stuff. And and I have a hypothesis that we're going to start learning about Amity in the second book. If you've ever read Divergent, um, there's five different factions, Dauntless, Candor, Iridite, that Ob Obageddon, I think that one's called, and then Amity. Amity's like peace-loving hippies. And on the cover of Insurgent, it had, like, a tree. And on the cover of Divergent, it had a fire because the symbol of Dauntless is fire. So I think we're going to learn about Amity because the symbol of Amity is a tree. And there's a tree on the cover. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? You do. You do, right? It's good. I think I'm on to something here. And the last one would be All These Things I've Done by Gabriel Zeman, number two. I loved, a lot of people liked it. I loved that book. I loved it so much. It's just like Mafia Crime Bosses. Anya is a great narrator and the wind was charming and lovely. And the only thing that I didn't like was her best friend. But I have an issue with best friends in general in books. So, and that's really all the sequels I have for you guys. Um, yeah. Did you watch? Okay, so I, last weekend, I was sick on Friday, so I watched Vampire Diaries for the first time, because it was on Netflix Instant, and I finished watching, like, I caught up completely on Wednesday, so I watched Thursday episode, did you watch Thursday episode, because I watched it, that was crazy, I can't believe there's a two week hiatus now, not happy about that, but whatever, whatever, I love that show, guys, so if you watched it, you should let me know what you thought. Down below, but no spoilers because some people haven't watched it. And that's everything I have for you guys this week. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.